Paying attention is the number one thing that I mentioned on this channel. So pay attention now. You should be paying attention to the entire situation, the entire process that you're engaging with. So let's say you're having a supply chain challenge and you can't buy this thing from this supplier using this method. Well, do you understand how your supply chain works? Are there different ways you could attack this? Can you try a different supply chain group? Can you try to use a purchasing credit card? Can you try to use a pass-through supplier? When it comes down to it, you need to really understand all of the processes that you interact with on a daily basis. And you need to understand them so thoroughly when you have a challenge that comes up, coming with those solutions that don't seem apparent up front is what's going to set you apart from your peers, as well as as you get further into your engineering career, what distinguishes a more senior engineer. So you can kind of think of this like you can see the pitfalls coming when there's a, a problem. It's kind of like when you are trying to get someone to come over to your solution that you have and you need to basically enable them to logic themselves over to your argument. It's exactly like that, except this is you thinking for yourself now and coming up with that innovative solution to where you can really get around a problem in a way that most people in your group wouldn't have seen. This is really where you show your, your worth and this is really where you set yourself apart. What do you think? Do you think I'm on the right path here? You should leave me a comment if you've had a similar situation where you've come up with something super innovative and what were you able to get done with that? I'm sure there's plenty more examples we could be going over when it comes to how to turn something into something good that looks really bad. I'll share something for me where I turned something that was negative into a positive. There was a situation where I was developing a tool to make something go faster and my tool caught a corner case. So when the thing went to the test, the real test with the airplane, the corner case was caught and basically made most of the data rather unusable. Now the good thing there was there is a way that we could get around that so the data wasn't a complete loss, but it was useless in real time. The way that I was able to parlay this into an innovative good solution is I took that and I improved my tool so that it will never happen again. So now nobody needs to be watching for that corner case because it's been protected against now. And through me saying, yes, I did that. This happened because of something that I did. I took ownership over it. And then I included the fix in my tool. And then going forward, nobody has to worry about it again. So this was something where, yes, there was a negative here. I owned the negative and then I was innovative and came up with a solution so it doesn't have to happen again. So overall, this was good. Now this could have been very bad if I didn't have a way to fix this problem or if I didn't take ownership because people do that. You'll see a lot of people try to worm their way out of owning when things go wrong. But if you own something, so if you take extreme ownership, yep, I did that. I was the one that was responsible for that file and I had no idea that this was going to cause this problem because it was a undocumented feature, we'll say. So I caught an undocumented feature and owned it. And then I found an innovative way to not let it happen again. So that, that's just a quick example, but I'd love if you have a similar thing, if you could drop it down below. I hope you could take this mindset and go start to come up with those innovative ways to take something that's negative and turn it into a positive. If you're ready for more emotional intelligence, which I think you should be, you should get started in this playlist up here. Or if you're already an EQ Rockstar, you should head over to the social intelligence playlist. Or you can keep doing what you're doing and getting the results you've been getting. Up to you.